take your energy. I don't like that. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tennis. Hey, you an enemy. All them lies you telling, I can't let that be the end of me. No, no. Probably cause your girl feeling me. It's a flag on the play, all these catching penalties. Look, I don't like your energy. Like the fake handshake snake tendency. Let's go. Don't make me jog your memory. I did upgrade, you didn't upgrade it. The world, how they forgetting me? Please make it make some sense to me. How you talking about the greatest still ain't greatest? Mention me. Them bands, I want the symphony. Uh, 15 minutes went instantly. Uh, lately I've been catching plays, it's like it's meant to be. I got rich in the pandemic, meant to be. Don't do too much, I keep it simple. You cloud chasing, trying to make the people feel you. Boys need to slow it down, I'm talking real screw. Hit house at the top with the clear view. Oh, look, I don't like your energy. I don't like it. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Hey, you an enemy. All them lies you telling, I can't let that be the end of me. No, no, probably cause your girl feeling me. It's a flag on the play, all these catching penalties. Look, I don't like your energy. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Let's go. You not my kind, I know kidding me. Heard you told my girl about all of them that's DMing me. Why they hogging up the recipe? Heard they talking like I can't let Ken Wallace get ahead of me. Know your heart full of jealousy. All that acting tough, damn, this must be a parody. Okay, one on one ain't no comparing me. Okay, wait, two on two, that's like four twos. They be sharing me. Okay, they working like the red dude. Red got them doing that. That's what I'm into, yeah. If I'm in it, then I own it, not a rental, no. I've been plotting on the lamb and the bins, cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like your energy. I don't like it. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Hey, you an enemy. All them lies you telling, I can't let that be the end of me. No, no. Probably cause your girl feeling me. It's a flag on the play, all these catching penalty. Look, I don't like your energy. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Let's go. First off, let me talk my... Got a couple things I gotta cross off my list. How you insomniac for sleeping on my... It's a bad soundtrack. Read the script. Uh, born in the motherland, headed straight down to the south. Tennessee mornings with pops, working three jobs. I knew that they struggled to get it. That's why I wanted to get it. That embedded, you get it? Treat it like the law. And I'ma need commission for this hit. Last late the canvas and I painted over it. I don't need a vision board to show you I'm the... I'm betting on myself. How the... Chips. Got it. Made some choices for a profit. That's my logic. I'ma take it to the coffin, just being honest. Try to sink my ship like Titanic and leave me with Jack. Hope I be panicking, but I rose to the top. Isn't it funny that the is built like a Maserati? Yoga folding like origami. What? I want the walk. I talk the talk. I be saying what I want. When I had no deposit, closet was looking real bare. Now I made a deposit, my closet's looking super rare. Uh, drove it really far. Crazy how this just happened, wishing on a star. It's a celebration, I ain't talking Mardi Gras. With a little patience, you'll be eating. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. to throw on the first play into heavy traffic and it's intercepted picked off by the shot right and the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football 
Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Carlos Basham in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Back to throw here. Looking left side, and it's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Looking to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Touchdown! A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins use the early turnover to get on the board first. Here in this one. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7 0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. To throw on second and ten, Allen. And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Here's Allen on first and 10. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Nishan Wright. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And the Bills are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, do you want to unpack that one, or do you want me to? <laughs> You're the boss. 
We'll get the interception. Then really, he's just too loose with the football on the return, and he coughs it right back up the other way. I've seen this happen in an NFL game, and boy, did it cost someone. San Francisco at Atlanta a few seasons ago. Atlanta throws the interception. San Francisco runs it back. Game assaulted away. Fumbles on the return. Atlanta gets it back, drives down, kicks the game-winning field goal. <laughs> How about that? And a crazy situation we just saw there. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Allen going to throw. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Throwing on first down is Allen. Got a man here, it's Roberts. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll set up to throw. Going left side, it's complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll set up a throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. They'll look to throw. Looking left side and it's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They'll look to throw here on first down. Looking left, the ball comes out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. Well, my friend, this has certainly been a comedy of errors here in the first quarter. Neither side able to really hang out to the ball. Yeah, now I'm just curious to see which team can adjust because both have made their mistakes, as you said. Yeah, and whoever can do that can seize firm control of this game, something they haven't done with the ball so far. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately, to me, four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play, not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Hey, hold, hold, hold. To throw again on second down, Allen. 
And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. This defense for the Dolphins, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And what I saw in film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright. Throwing his Allen on third. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Donald Perro, 31 yards. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright. And it's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Three and five is where they sit on the year. A very uneven start is certainly not an ideal position to be in at the halfway point of the season. Uh, CD, do you see an avenue where they can still be a playoff team, or is that ship sail? Well, since you took me to the nautical side, I'm going to try and keep up here because, to me, this ship is about ready to pull out of port. These next couple of games are absolute must-wins for them. Now, if they can win a couple, get to five and five, Maybe they start believing in themselves, but a loss here, that would move them to three and six. And if that's the case, well, that boat is going to head out to the harbor with them still on the dock. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Rodriguez. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Rodriguez. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Now a second down and six. The Dolphins at three and five, two games under 500. And they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience all on display in that victory. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. On. And he loses the football a second time. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit into football. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. 
36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, they are back to 500 on the year, got the win last weekend, and it's one that kept their playoff hopes alive. And if you do have those hopes, 500 is not where you want to be at this point. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Channing Tindall, but he will bring it back. It's a big six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, CD, that's a huge play by this defense in a close ball game. And I think he was trying to just extend the play there, getting outside the pocket, but he throws a costly pick six. Yeah, he's trying to find someone open. You're exactly right. He wasn't looking to run. He was looking to throw. The result, not good for him. They were more than happy on the defensive side to gather that one in and take it to the house. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Take it in at the three. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this whole round. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better. And now here is another interception. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But and he fires one that's intercepted. It's the ex-Dolphin, Mika Fitzpatrick. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now off a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get him next time out. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throwing left side. It's complete. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. On first down, Allen. And Roberts with it over the middle. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And this came from the edge. And those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. And as we break it down on next-gen stats, that entire play wound up taking just 2.4 seconds beginning to end. So they were on him in a hurry. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy. And can he step into a throw? And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. 
So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Back to throw now on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. On second down now, it's Rodriguez. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. third down he'll drop to throw he is going to find Hill here and they are able to stop him but he does take it all the way to the two the Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half there's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process and really it's not just the arm strength there but the placement as well to me that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy the chalk now there is a flag down but I think that's offsides on the defense yeah I think that's going to stand partner extra point attempt to come here it's up and good and that'll make the score 21 to 6 will use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game, for here's where the breaks are made. It's the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Here's Allen. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks. Like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Dolphins force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. 
They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his man complete. That's Rodriguez. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now back to throw. And connecting here with DJ Sharp. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, it's Rodriguez on the move past the 40. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. First down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 33 yards. And the Dolphins have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Point after, up and go. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. it away and off it goes fields it right around the goal line and a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped it to 14 the Bills come to the line to start their next drive and their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Inside give to Allen. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. His throw incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity 
and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Got a man here. It's Roberts. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 39-yard line. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Channing Tindall. And the Dolphins will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. That's still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about... Is the team that just threw that interception? And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Looking to throw. Finds Hill on the crossing route, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he whips that one incomplete there. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for him, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 39. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Rodriguez. And he'll be brought down at the 27. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. So after the sack here, second and 14. They'll set up a throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. The open man is sharp, it's complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're going to look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but and my goodness, another interception.
That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation point, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody I, knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> Now they'll throw here, out of the gun, and it's caught! Touchdown, Dolphins! A great play there, with touchdown number three in the game and six on the year. And the Dolphins start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. No going for two, they'll kick the point after. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Nishan Wright. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming. And they stayed in position, Charles. They had picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard. They see what they can accomplish. And they went for it. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rodriguez. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll set up to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. He'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Rodriguez. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Rodriguez. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Back to throw again. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were rough. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early. 
early on, and they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think they should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And complete right side to Cook. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. One final try here for Allen. It's caught by Roberts. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And again, it's Allen. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Nishan Wright. And the Dolphins will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles. But that interception means that this defense will very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because... Your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Over the middle complete. It's Hill. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. complete and they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line they'll look to throw here on first down gets this one to hill and he goes down but not before getting this inside the 25 well fans usually love to see scoring and there's no shortage of it today what a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for Miami, it's an important win for their postseason hopes as they at least get back to four and five. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they are barely afloat as they fall to four and five. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants.
my Brooklyn cause he shot rock. South side, C12, 911. Good to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex know they ready. See, we were not to ride nobody way. We're the ones who started with it. Translation. Yanni had to buy Yanni and Yanni hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go to put it. Uh-huh. That's how you know we lit. Yeah, yeah. Grr. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Loss. We be the hottest on the scene. Jams thrown from the dust. Big dog with the leash. 